the Boston Celtics drafted Oregon point guard Peyton Pritchard with the 26th pick in the first round of the 2020 NBA draft. Let's fucking go. Yes. Now, all right, I know. Why the hell am I so hyped? Because I'm a huge Oregon Ducks fan. I got family out there, okay? I got family out there. I'm a huge fan. Have been for a long while now. And I'm a huge Celtics fan. So when I saw this come up on Twitter, I'm like, holy shit, the pit, excuse me, the Celtics drafted somebody from the University of Oregon. Like, I was watching the draft last year, and I was watching Bowl Bowl fall, and I'm like, come on, Boston. Come on. Please, pick the man. He ends up going to the second round to Miami with a pick that ended up getting traded to Denver. And, yeah. But, anyway. No, I'm... <laughs> Thanks to my grandmother, and for my birthday, I have his jersey. But, anyway. Let me know when Payne Pritchard starts getting Oregon Ducks jerseys... Or, excuse me. Get some Boston Celtics jerseys made. Because I am going to cop one of those. I'm getting one. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Woo! Yeah, you can tell. I'm hyped. <laughs> uh, Oregon men's basketball tweet out, continue making us proud, Peyton. The kid from West Lynn goes to the Celtics with a number 26 pick in the 2020 NBA draft. Oh my god, guys. I am just... Bro. <laughs> I'm happy. I really am. You know, being a huge Celtics fan, being a huge Ducks fan, um, you know, I don't get to watch a whole lot of Oregon Ducks men's basketball games over here on the East Coast, um, unless it's on, like, Fox or whatever, because I don't have a Pac-12 network, um, but from what I've watched and whatnot, um, I'm really high on Peyton, and, um, I cannot wait to see him in a Celtics jersey, and I cannot fucking wait, um, to see uh the Celtics team next year. Um, you know, apparently they wanted to get Drew Holiday. Apparently Kemba Walker was getting thrown around a little bit, uh, which is interesting considering this is like a year after we got him, you know, in free agency. But um, you know, I'm glad Kemba's still here. Ignore that. I don't know why that was going off all of a sudden, but ignore that. Um <laughs> so uh yeah, and as far as the rest of this team goes, um I got, you know, I got to say, um, I'm liking, it. obviously I like this Celtic team, you know, Jalen, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Kemba, um, and what, so on and so forth. Uh, we picked Aaron Nesmith earlier in the first round. Um, that's, that I'm also pretty happy about. Um, I've seen some stuff saying, you know, he'll fit right in with the Celtics, with Tatum and with Kemba and Smart and, you know, and, uh, Jalen and the rest of them. And I, I can only hope that Peyton... Uh, will fill in and, you know, come in the same way, uh, as far as I'm concerned, so, yes, hell yeah, um, you know, and it, it, it seems like, but it, the funny thing, you know, is it seems like, is Boston seems to be high on drafting guards the last few years, because, like, last year, they got Romeo Langford, uh, Tremont Waters, and Carson Edwards, uh, two of which are point guards, and one's a shooting guard, or one's a point guard, and two are shooting guards, one or the other, um, they're all guards, and of course, uh, we also end up getting, you know, Taco Fall and whatnot, but, uh, then, of course, this year, we get Aaron Nesmith, who I think's, who's, I think, like, a shooting guard, small forward, and then Peyton Pritchard, of course, is a point guard, um, so that's huge, uh, obviously, when it comes to free agency, uh, Boston's gonna have to look at the front court, um, I think Ennis Cantor, uh, is supposed to get, uh, to get, you know, possibly re-signed or something like that. Um, and there's obviously been talk of Gordon Hayward getting moved. Um, as far as Gordon Hayward getting moved goes, like, I, I, I it's like, I, I saw an open letter on, uh, Celtics Reddit, um, to him, um, you know, he doesn't deserve the hate, because of course we all gotta remember, when Gordon Hayward signed his contract with Boston, he deserved all the money he was getting paid, um, at, you know, from that contract at the time, because of course he came in at the same time as Kyrie. Uh, and then, of course, the very first game of the season against Cleveland, at Cleveland, Gordon suffers that horrific injury, and nothing's been the same since. And with the I think what's happened is with the development of Tatum, 
and Jalen whatever because Jalen Brown he's a shooting guard small forward Tatum is a small forward power forward um and whatnot and of course it, it was like that year without Gordon and then later on without Kyrie because Kyrie got hurt we go all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals and push a game seven against the LeBron led Cavs team the very next year Kyrie and Gordon come back and you know we we you know, a lot of people were thinking, you know, with Boston, if, if they could just replicate what they had last year and then add in Kyrie and Gordon, you know, we could be in the finals possibly. Uh, and that just did not happen. Um, we took game one against Milwaukee. Paul Pierce talked his shit. And then we lost four straight. Or that was the second round, excuse me. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that was not good. And of course, now Kyrie's gone. And as far as Gordon Hayward goes, uh, I saw some, you know, rumors that um the Hawks were looking into him uh to trade for him um considering that the Hawks drafted two small forwards last year in Cam Reddish and DeAndre Hunter um I don't want to say that one of them would have to be part of the package back for Hayward but um it would probably certainly help for the Hawks because it would break up that log jam it also, honestly it's still it it, it kind of boggles my mind why they would draft both Hunter and Reddish but um, either way, um, I just as far as Gordon Hayward's concerned, you look at his contract now. It's an it's a sort of an albatross on the team. But you look at it back then, and he he obviously deserved it. It's the if the injury doesn't happen, I don't think we're having this conversation about Hayward possibly getting moved or whatever. Um, but you know, as they say, hindsight's twenty twenty. But at the same time, you know, things happen. Uh, but anyway, um, just quick reactions about the draft. I, I, I tweeted this out earlier I, uh, after I got home, you know, because when I got home, I had ESPN on. So I watched the, watched the draft and it's like, yes, there have been some trades. I uh, found that uh, Rubio was getting, and two first round picks were getting traded um, at one point, whatever. Um, and then Horford was getting, uh, sent to OKC, uh, which is a big deal for the Sixers because that is one hell of an albatross of a contract. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, you know, there were rumors all over the place that Minnesota was going to move down for number one because they don't have, you know, one of the best development when it comes to their, their prospects. You know, yes, Carl Anthony Towns has developed quite well, but. You know, you get my point. You know, Andrew Wiggins, and you know, in previous uh, regimes as well, um, there was maybe a possibility that Golden State was going to move, um, Chicago, New York, um, uh, just a, a bunch of different things, and none of that happened. Anthony Edwards goes number one, even you know, which is uh, I saw the comments that came out recently, apparently saying that. Like he he can't like watch he just doesn't watch basketball it's it's it doesn't doesn't sound like he just plays it it just I don't know um James or James Wiseman goes number two to the Warriors yay um if he develops oh fuck although uh Clay Thompson apparently suffered a lower leg injury I don't know how that happened uh, I saw that on Twitter so uh best of luck to Clay in that situation hopefully he recovers. Uh, Lamella Ball went to the Hornets, um, so if the Hornets were gonna trade for Russell Westbrook, I don't think it's happening, um, and so on and so forth, but yeah, I am hyped, Peyton Pritchard, an Oregon Duck, is going to the Boston Celtics, let's go, hell yeah, woo, go Ducks, and go Celtics.